Hello everyone, I hope you're doing okay. Everywhere we look, there is a talking head trying to get our attention. Everywhere we turn, there's another preacher speaking, there's another newscaster giving an editorial, telling us what to think, what to believe, what to do, where to go, where to find comfort, where to find solace. I found myself with this barrage of voices this week thinking of a retired teacher in one of my former churches, a very quiet, very humble gentleman. And I asked him one day, I said, Jimmy, you're so quiet. How did you get students' attention whenever the classroom would get unruly or something would happen and nobody wanted to pay attention and there was a lot of drama going on and he just smiled and he said, the louder it got, the quieter I spoke. And the quieter I spoke, the more I found students would quiet down, lean in, and listen. So, I thought today we could use a little bit of quiet and something short. Here are some passages from Scripture in these challenging times. Psalm 27, 1. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is a stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? From Psalm 46, 1. God is my refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. From Matthew eleven twenty eight to 30, from Jesus himself, Come unto me, all you who are heavy burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and lean, learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest and solace in your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. From Romans 15, 13, the Apostle Paul says, May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, so that you may abound in hope by the power of God's holy, good spirit. All this reminded me of that wonderful story in 1 Kings 19. Elijah has been so distressed. He complains to God and he cannot find God's presence or voice anywhere. Finally, he is compelled to go up to Mount Horeb where he waits in the mouth of a cave for God. And God sends a great earthquake and the earth shakes, but Elijah does not find God in the shaking. And a wind, and the wind blows and howls, but he does not find God in the noise of the wind. And then a raging fire, and he does not find God in the raging fire. But then, a time of stillness and quiet. And in that stillness and quiet, he finds God there. May you find in this week stillness and quiet and the presence of God Almighty in new and powerful ways. And all of God's people said, Amen.